My name's Nathan Battersell and we are standing on Denby's Hillside which is owned by the National Trust and um, my current occupation is I'm a fencing contractor. 95% of my work is agricultural and equine. My largest job was about 7,500 metres, that was post and wire. My mum's side of the family and my granddad was a fencer and my uncle and my cousins have all done it. Uh, not so much agriculture, they were more, um, they used to do a lot of industrial fencing. I sort of ventured out on my own. I'm a sole trader, yeah. yeah. It's NB Fencing Services. I've been in fencing now for about, uh, about 25 years. Yeah, I, I first started out with, a, you know, was literally doing everything by hand. I'd invested in machinery, which is obviously, with which I can now take on the larger jobs. If you was building a fence out of timber, you'd turn up and you put your Australian posts in, um, then you'd put your intermediate posts in, and then you'd, you'd tension the wire, your netting or barbed wire, whatever the customer wanted. But say with the Clipex, it's, it's, I think that's why it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit quicker to put up, because you're, you're putting up the netting and then putting the posts in. But before, the other way around, it's, it's, yeah, it does seem a, it's a bit longer, yeah. I didn't think it would be to start with, but it's proved me wrong. Yeah, about 18 months, two years ago, I heard about it through, um, through Chris Umbridge at Bay Parkers. In a day on my own, I could probably do sort of between sort of 80 and 100 metres on my own. Um, but with this, I could probably, yeah, I could probably do about 150 with the Clipex, maybe a bit more. Because um, where, where we're particularly standing now is about 100, there's about, yeah, it's about 80 metres here, and we've we done, well, we've done this in a day. Or less than a day, so and that was from scratch. I just thought it'd be it would be very fiddly, you know, with the clips. Um, but once once you get sort of get your head around it, you get into it. It's it's, it's not a bad fence actually. Yeah, I was, yeah, it's proved me wrong. <laughs> it's proved me wrong actually. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't a lover of it to start with, um, but I can definitely see that you know the falls for it now. Yeah, it's 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 sort of different contrast. I was used to using a timber post, you know, a nice big thick timber posts and when you look at this you think oh that's a bit you know it's a bit flimsy but actually when you start to put it up it's it's not so flimsy at all you know so we started here about on this particular site here it was about six weeks ago and I say it's about just over 2,000 meters here and it's all on the downland and then back in the spring we've done another 2,000 meters further down the downs um, not such a um, steep terrain as this but um, yeah, so done a fair bit through the National Trust, yeah. They wanted, they wanted to go forward with it, they wanted to use the product, so I thought, well, I'll give it a go. And uh, they're very happy with the job, and they're foremost, they're very, they're very impressed how quickly the job's gone, and um, how easy it's gone. So yeah, I think they'll be using more of it in the future. Say the, the, the ground that we're on here, this, you know, the chalk and flint, the posts would drive easier than if it was if you was using timber posts. Um, and I think it, I know, on the terrain where it's up on the steep slopes, it's just it's just far easier to use, you know, to get get to the site where, you, where you're working. If the customer wanted me to use the cover expense in, um, I wouldn't have any problem with you about using it now. Um, and I hope you know either through. But Vay Parker, you know, more, more work's going to sort of spin off it from this, from 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 using it, yeah, you know, because I think it well, obviously it is going to be the future, yeah.